Greetings and salutations my friends. Welcome to the state of the channel address. In this sort of series of videos that I do occasionally, I talk about how the channel's doing, what we're, videos we're doing at the moment, and then talk about analytics and how the subscriber growth is going, watch time, how much money I've made, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also today I'm going to talk about a bit about growth and how to, one of the tough things to do when you've got a YouTube channel is to sort of gauge your growth. It's it's always, it's sometimes tough to work out, you know, if you're not getting them as many subscribers, why that is and what you can do to help gauge where you should be at. So, right, let's get on with it then, shall we? So this is the sort of standard dashboard that you get when you go into the analytics. So this is showing the last 28 days. So my estimated revenue is $496. Um, it's down, It I think the max, it, Went up to about 600 at one point, but it, it's been about $500 for most of the last, I'd say, sort of eight months or so. Bearing in mind, just in case you don't know, my channel is one year and 10 months old. So, and we've almost hit 5 million views, which is amazing. 21,000 subscribers, 320. Lovely, lovely stuff. I'm really, I'm overall absolutely delighted with, with how things have been going on the channel. Um... So let's have a quick look at what's been going on on the channel recently and, and, and talk about what maybe is improved or what can we can do different or stuff that's coming up. So these are the latest videos. So you can, as you can see, you can see the, the views here and then this one's the comments and this is um, likes and dislikes and stuff like that and all good stuff. So as, as you'd expect on my channel, and this is always the case because it's probably like a 90% football manager fan base, is that... Um, the any football manager video usually does better than the rest of the stuff. So, so as you can see, the football manager has been chugging along nicely. It's sort of around about three thousand views for each new videos. We did have an issue recently. I think it was episode twenty three and twenty four. Um, YouTube decided to break its subscription feed again, and lots of people weren't seeing it. So, if you haven't already, go into the um, the 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 next to the video there's a little bell you can click that and do the alerts and stuff but um yeah it's been going really well as you can see the darkest dungeon is the least popular series um followed by probably XCOM the what the biggest surprise for me is Motorsport Manager and how popular that it still is um I don't know whether it's because it's still just a really popular game or less YouTubers are making uh, series on Motorsport Manager now or I'm just a a motorsport manager god that's, that's not a thing is it but like you know the last episode now is already still on 2000 views which is for a tiny and very niche game much more niche than football manager absolutely brilliant one thing i want to remind you guys is if i was just to look on these numbers i'd probably cancel my darkest dungeon series but gold my golden rule of of youtube is to um do what you enjoy and we're in it we're at a weird place in the year at the moment but it's kind of sort of settling down waiting for fm18 so the views have dropped off a lot on all the sort of fm17 stuff you know my my hard, hardcore audience the sort of three thousand guys are still enjoying the flip league save and stuff like that but it's not it's not like you know getting the views it was if we look at go and look at the analytics so this is just for the the lifetime of this channel um what the analytics were so as you can see they're chugging along a little bit with the watch time um and then and then it shot up, you know, it's gradually, well, it's not a shot up, it's gradually increased, but then we had a nice jump. Um, my most popular video ever um, is almost at 100,000 views, which is what if we created the best player in the world experiment. So, like, experiments do really well. As you can see, my top video is all experiments. Um, every player, uh, every premiership team had no players. Uh, 500 years into the future. And then Journeyman episode one um, is my fourth favourite um most popular video that's a lot of it because it, it auto plays for a new person that comes in um but it's you know it's been a popular series because even episode two is still um my fifth most popular video so the journeyman thing in in entirety has just been a very very popular thing as you can see 98 percent male audience two percent females hello hello ladies um and then obviously united kingdom is a big thing but this is this is overall so we want to sort of narrow it down to the last you know three months or so just so we can get a better idea of what's going on so we'll close this down um so this is the last 90 days um as you can see the views 
have been sort of slowly, slowly decreasing, which is to be expected, the, the big games. Also, like, Darkest Dungeon is almost, like, two years old now. Um, XCOM is uh, been out for a while, and even the new DLC, it's a popular game. It's hard to rank on that sort of stuff. So, and also, you've got to bear in mind, what I'm doing now is, is I'm doing a football manager save that's called Flipped Leagues, right? So... Nobody's going to be searching in YouTube for FM17. I want to, oh, I want to look for a flipped league save, right? Nobody's really searching that sort of stuff. So the flipped leagues thing isn't really gaining me a massive amount of new subscribers. It'll occasionally get them because, like, you know, when I play Man United, I'll, I'll SEO to say Man United in the title and the description and stuff just to get um, a few more people on board. But the, And the main reason I'm doing this now is because not that many people are watching FM17 compared to six months ago. Um... I thought it's a great time to just do something fun and relax a little bit and not don't worry about the numbers. You know, we'll, we'll when we I've got so many plans for FM 18 and experiments and all this sort of stuff that, you know, this is a nice sort of the quieter time of the year regards to football manager. So it's it's just doing stuff that's just a little bit more silly that might not necessarily help the channel grow as well. Um but I'm really sort of pleased with it, even if, um, so let's have a look. My most popular video in the last 90 days is, is still that bloody, <laughs> the, the whatever we created, the best player. Um, and then the flipped leagues is, is my second. So it's doing all right. But look, if you look at compared to the journeyman, it's, it's not even close. You know, the MLS adventure did really well and stuff like that. Um, just views as a whole. Now, this is what I wanted sort of the big subject I wanted to talk to you about really was that if you've got a YouTube channel, and let's say, I'm, I'm just picking an arbitrary number here, right? You're getting, on average, a 1,000 subscribers a month, right? So you're chugging along, you, you know, that's your average. And then it starts going down. And it can be so many things that means that you're getting less subscribers. Are you uploading less? Um, is it because the game you're playing, such as FM17, is less people are watching? So that's the thing. Is it because you're not your videos aren't as good? Maybe you're a bit bored of it and your videos aren't as good. Um, maybe um, your SEO is not as good as it was. Maybe you're taking less time doing all your SEO, your titles, descriptions and tags and all that sort of stuff. And so there can be multiple reasons. So what my biggest advice when you're a YouTuber is to try and find channels that do the same thing as you whether that's Football Manager or another game or whatever it is, vlogs or whatever it is, and keep a note of how they're doing because then that gives you an idea of the sort of how that genre of YouTube is going as a whole. So on, on I've got a spreadsheet here, um, which is basically a bunch of FM, mainly FM YouTubers. So we've got all the big ones, Workspace, Dr. Benji, Golden FM. You've got FM Scout, Lujo, me, Keepers. And there's, there's other channels as well. It's just I don't need to keep it... I, I'm too lazy to keep track of every single one. It was just sort of, you know, the slightly larger ones and people around me and people, stuff like that, just to get a better idea. Because if I get a 1,000 a month for the last six months and then this month I get 500, I need to try and work out why my subscribers have halved. So to find out, basically, if if it's... Maybe if it's because you're making shit videos or you're not doing things right, or you're making crap thumbnails, or whatever it is, what you can do is look at other channels like yours and see if they're dropping. Because if they're dropping, then it's probably something that's maybe not as much in your... that you can control. So, Like, for instance, Football Manager 2017 is less people are watching. So if I, if I didn't know that was an obvious thing, I might be worried that my subscribers are dropping. But then if I look at all the channels doing similar stuff and their subscribers are dropping, then... That's fine. That's just this time of year sort of thing. And also, if they're not dropping, then it might be something that you're doing wrong. So that's why I don't keep a record of these to see, you know, it's not, I don't see this as like a competition to see who can get the most subscribers, this spreadsheet. It's much more about just seeing the trend of Football Manager channels and how they're doing. So as you can see, I've um, I've been doing this this spreadsheet because I, I, I redid a new one um, for the last eight months. Um and so this is the overall amount of subscribers they've got. So I'm this uh, little green, uh, I'm this purple dude here. Nice purple giant stick. Um, you know, and the growth's been fantastic. You know, I've been catching up. FM Scout's been doing really. And also you've got to look at other people like uh, Golden FM, for instance. I don't think he's uploaded a video for a couple of months. So 
You just need to keep an eye on the channels as well to see if they're doing something suddenly different. If they stop playing FM 17 or something like work the space. Um, Golden FM haven't done um, football manager videos for a couple of months. And work the space isn't actually on this list because he's got 60,000 subscribers. I know where he is, but he's not on the graph because then it condenses the graph a bit too much. So it's harder to see sort of where everybody is. And then so each month I'll go into here um, and work out how many subscribers they've gained each month. And this little sort of coloured shit here is basically like a gold, silver and bronze medal. Um, so I can look at a glance what channels are doing well. So as we can see on here, for the first month, FM Scout, this is in February, um, grew the quickest. I was like just behind it, bit annoying, wanted that gold. Um, and Lelujo was third. And then this, and then the next month, FM Scout, me, and then Golden FM, FM Scout, um, and then uh, Dr. Benji, and then me. So I'm, I'm always in it. So then another second place, always second, always the bridesmaid. Um, <laughs> and then Giancaldo, sort of popped onto the scene and was growing really, really uh, quickly. And so my thought is to go and see what he's doing. It's not, it's, it's nothing to do with competition or, or copying ideas or something like that. It's just, oh, okay, what's he doing that's really sort of gaining people's attention? And as it turned out, he was like smashing out tons of really good experiments. So, um, and he's not, and he's now not doing that as much. So as you can see, it's really sort of dropped right down. But you, you get a better idea. I came second again, FM Scout. And then the last three months, I've been top. Um, but as you can see, my numbers here, this is like sort of peak level of FM excitement and stuff. These last sort of few, uh, few months, I've been doing really well, doing some experiments. And then last month is almost half. But I'm still ahead of everybody else. Um, sort of on this on the spreadsheet, there might be other people that are growing a little bit quicker. But um, and I know for a fact that September, I'm probably not even going to be in the top three. And it's okay to, as long as you understand why that's happening. I know this is happening for a number of reasons. I'll I'll explain to it unless I had a sudden burst in subscribers in the next ten days. As long as I can explain why that happens, then it's perfectly fine because I know what's going on. So, um, for instance, I know that. Um, my subscribers will be less this month than a lot of the other big YouTubers because not only am I playing a football manager get a football manager um, save that it's nobody's going to be searching for. We might get a few Eastley fans in. I'm not sure how many exist of those, but it's flipped leagues. If I just did an FM17 save with Tottenham or Chelsea or something for the next couple of months, that would help me grow. But I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't enjoy that so much. So. Um, the flipped league save is something I just wanted to do for fun. I did an experiment on it a while ago, really enjoyed it. So I thought, well, this is perfect timing. I'm using this time where not that many people are watching to to do a, a, a different series, a really sort of fun, interesting series. But on top of that, also, all my pretty much all my other series are really deep in now. Like we're up to uh, episode 26 of the mo this is the second series of Motorsport Manager. Um, so it's it's not really gaining new subscribers. Um, we're also up to episode 26 of Darkest Dungeon, which a game that's been out for a while. So neither of these two things are really gaining me subscribers. But as long as you understand that and you're okay with that, I'm enjoying the saves. So that's the thing that matters, right? And, and so, you know, we've got a good amount of people that are still enjoying these videos um the only thing that is relatively new is xcom 2 um the new dlc that's that's on only on episode 5 and it's doing okay there's there's two reasons for this because it's only a dlc of xcom 2 and xcom 2's out, been out for a couple of years now that it doesn't quite have the same oh shiny new game feel to a lot of people but also because it is a big game it's very very hard for a small channel like me to rank against these big boys with millions of subscribers. Even if I do my SEO stuff perfectly, perfect title, description, and tags, it doesn't, it's hard to compete against those big boys. So I, and I never expected to, but as long, like again, as long as you understand that, so you're not disappointed, going, oh, why isn't that getting loads of subscribers and all that sort of stuff? As long as you understand that, that's all good. Um, so none of my series are new, other than sort of XCOM, which we discussed. So there's no sort of fresh stuff that's going to appeal to a brand new audience that I can SEO for a new audience. So if I was desperate for subscribers and I wanted to, you know, it's all about the growth sort of thing, I would I would continue to do experiments. I'd do um, a big FM save, just a fun, like a, a premiership team, 
you know, a Man City or a Bayern Munich or a Barcelona or something that might just draw a few more people in. But, you know, that's for that. That's not as fun for me. We've got a couple of months left of this game. I'm going to use it to do silly little fun stuff. I've got tons of ideas for experiments in my um, special book. Ideas and shit book. Um, but I'm going to save them for FM18 now, you know, and, and, and lots of other stuff and guides. I want to do some stuff on guides and team guides and all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of just sort of preparing. This is, The next couple of months is relatively quiet, preparing for the next sort of big thing, you know, the next big release of FM. Um, let's just jump to back to analytics for a bit. So we're looking at the last 90 days. So here's the actual uh, subscribers for the last um, 90 days. As you can see, and this is another thing that might panic you as a new as a, a, a newer YouTuber, is that you will lose a lot of subscribers. It's totally natural. You could be the most entertaining person in the world, but people are just going to, generally speaking, unsubscribe when it happen, You know, when they fancy it, whether they stop playing Football Manager or for a channel like me, this is where... Um, it hurts a little bit to be a channel that does multiple games because let's say I started playing um, XCOM and gained some subscribers from it and then I stopped it, those people might unsubscribe then because they were here for the XCOM. So you always have that problem when you stop a series of those people going, oh, well, he's not doing Motorsport Manager anymore, so I'm going to leave. So you, you've got that extra thing on top of it, um, which, is, which is a little bit harder when you're a multi-game channel, but... Don't be worried about this subscribers loss thing. As long as you get in a nice, if you're happy with the subscribers gained each month, you know the ratio's good. So obviously this is the the, the last sort of ninety days. Um, if we just look at the last thirty days, um, I've had eight hundred forty nine subscribers. Even last month on that spreadsheet, it was over a thousand. But like I said, as long as you understand why that's happening, because if I was just doing like a really good FM save, an interesting one, and I was picking up these niche games and stuff like that, or new series going on, and I had this many, then I'd go, okay, well, is something? am I doing something? Or am I making bad content? Are the videos too short, too long? Am I just getting bored? Uh, you know, multiple is my SEO crap. So many reasons, that's when you need to delve in further. But as long as you understand what you're doing, um, let's have a look at the, where the, the subscribers are actually coming from. So UK is always my biggest audience, but we've had a nice um, influx of American friends. I was going to say good day, but that's, that's not even American. Um, and that's mainly because I did an MLS save. So that sort of pitched towards their audience more, obviously, MLS fans in America. And we've got Netherlands. So we've got lots of Scandinavia here and stuff like that. And it's sort of usual suspects, really. There's no, no sort of outliers. If we look at the channel um, lifetime to see where we're sitting when it when it updates um so united states um is my sort of second biggest audience and then uh then we've got australia netherlands denmark and just a nice mix then we've got some bizarre countries look i'll show you we, I've, I've i've had a look at this before um i've lost i don't know how i've got minus one subscriber from guadeloupe does that mean hang on no that means somebody that didn't live in guadeloupe subscribed then moved to Guadeloupe and unsubscribed. That must be it. Um, I don't know why they're showing me all these pages of zeros. Um, hang on, let's get to the first first one. First, come on. Oh, YouTube's slow. <clears throat> um, here we go. There we go. Uganda, Swaziland, Senegal, Sudan. Reunion. That's not even a country, is it? Come on now. Iran, we've got a subscriber from Iran. Syria, we've got two subscribers from Syria. Myanmar, which is my girl, uh, Curly is two, uh, a quarter Burmese, so that's nice. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's fascinating to look at and stuff like that. And then you've got, um, I don't know what the date stuff is. Oh, just on each day, okay. Um, sub I don't know what the status is. Subscribed, yeah, you're subscribed. Um, let's have a look at sort of um, the the views. Do, do, we got this is lifetime, but we'll go. We'll look in more detail. Like I said, we're about to hit five million views. That's mental, mental, and five million. Uh, yeah, five million views coming up as well. Um, so as you can see, 
this obviously I didn't have my channel for a while here, so we didn't start the channel till sort of up there. <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay. Where are we? That's January. That's there. Something like that. <clears throat> so, you know, tanked along nicely, growing steadily, did some work for FM Scout, bomb. FM17, that's FM17, and then also I did loads of Total uh, War stuff, which we'll talk about later. Um, and then it sort of really peaked off, and then it's sort of been going down. We had a nice little recurrence, but that could be other series that have sort of helped to prop it up a little bit. But... Like I said, I know I'm keep reaffirming it, but I see I do see lots of people getting disheartened. It's always disheartened initially when you see you gained less subscribers this month than you did last month. That's never nice. But as long as you understand it and you're okay with it, you can always change it by mixing up your content if you're that bothered about it. But it, the last couple of months, I like just to have a bit of fun with stuff. Um, and then we can look at audience retention. Well, let's have a look at the watch time in... Um... <clears throat> Let's look at views for the last sort of 90 days to get a better idea. So, yeah, because it tops out that day there, 28,000 views. <clears throat> and now we're down to 10,000 views, you know. But as long as it, like I said, it's, as long as you're understanding of where that's coming from, that's fine. Um, let's have a look at some other stuff. We're just going to have a click around a bit. I'll find something interesting to talk about. <clears throat> um, this is where people are watching the videos from so if they're watching it from the channel page or the playlist they're just there but um, the browse feature which is traffic from the home page home screen subscription feed all that sort of stuff so they're your subscribers almost this is an interesting one this is suggested videos so this is when you're watching a video and it pops up on the side it doesn't necessarily mean they're not subscribers because they might be watching your video so your video is then you know suggested um and then devices is always interesting. I'm always surprised how many people watch on a mobile. That's 27% um, on a mobile phone um, and tablet, 12%. 5% on their TV. Um, <clears throat> things like likes and dislikes. There's lots of change at YouTube at the moment. They're playing with the algorithm. And I would say um, that they're going over time they're going to become more and more important to how well a video ranks so this is not just for me but for any channel that you enjoy just just drop likes on their videos anytime you watch a video just drop a like on it because it, it does help massively especially going forward and comments if you can just leave a comment on a on a video you liked and just say great video really enjoyed it you don't have to say anything you know poignant or interesting or ask a question just say great video mate thanks because you that's going to help more and more. And you guys have worried, all, always been amazing with the uh, um, videos. Look at that. Uh, oh, the end of the journeyman. I've never, I don't really look at the likes and dislikes ratios in particular. Um, I'm, I'm ne I don't worry about dislikes. I know a lot of people. <laughs> I see a lot of people on Twitter com telling people how many dislikes they got on a video and also then telling people how they're not bothered that they got three dislikes on a video. It was like, if you're not bothered, you just wouldn't be looking. You wouldn't be telling people on Twitter, would you? Just don't be bothered. <laughs> you know, there's some... This doesn't offer any feedback. Let's say here, look. Let's find my most like most disliked video, right? So this... The, the, create the, the, the best Wonder Kid in the World experiment. This is my most disliked... It's all my most, my most popular. Um, but it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't say oh, you need to change this, this, or this, because there's, there's no information. They could dislike it because of the team he played for. Um, any any millions of reasons, the video was too long, the video was too short, they didn't like my face. They, there's no valid criticism there. It's only the people that leave comments saying, oh, I liked this video, but I reckon if you could have made it five minutes shorter, it would have been better. That's valuable. A dislike is of no value to anybody. Um, and then obviously videos in playlists is I, I harp on about how important it is to have videos in playlists because people do go through and 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 just binge watch a whole bunch of episodes. Um, this is the um, comments per day. Look, Jesus, that was a thousand comments. That could have been when I did that. I'd appreciate if you watch this video because I got a shitload of comments on there. Um, see, this is annoying because. This has 970 comments, apparently. It doesn't because it was a YouTube stream that had people chatting and that is a comment. That's just annoying. Um, but, that's yeah, that must have been that one then. Um, 
But comments are always good, and you should try and encourage comments. But I, I don't like just thinking of a question for the sake of questions. It's the same same with sharing. I It's massively helpful to me as a channel, but I don't really ask people to share. I kind of feel like if they want to share it, they, they want to share it. And this, this is just, you know, people being nice and helping out and stuff. Um, let's... Do, 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 do. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something, but I, I've... <clears throat> so this is a YouTube search. So, so this is uh, traffic sources and then YouTube search and then it drills down into what people are actually searching to find my videos in the last 90 days, right? So apparently they're just searching me, which is good. That means my name is getting out there. People are remembering how to spell it. That's great. A lot of people don't subscribe much to channels a lot some people are not logged into youtube when they do stuff so they might watch me all the time but they might just be putting my name in um unknown that's not they weren't searching unknown that's uh certain browsers and players do not allow us to detect all the details because they're bastards fm17 football manager 2017 fm17 that makes up about, what, 8% of my views there. But then we've got stuff like Motorsport Manager. But Behold the Kick Men, I did a one-off video on that, sort of first impressions playthrough of that. And then Motorsport Manager Tips, Motorsport Manager Creator and Team, Motorsport Manager Guy. So they're all doing really well. So it seems that people are coming to um, the channel. They're finding it because of Motorsport Na Manager, um, which is great. Because when I first started playing it, there were so many others that I wasn't really ranking that highly. Um... um yeah, interesting. Let's look at all time and see what my most popular searches are. Um, all times up there. Do do do. Probably, I'm ninety nine percent sure it's like FM seventeen or something. Um, it's still me, but we're, we're ignoring that. Football Manager two thousand and seventeen. There you go. Um, FM seventeen, FM Space seventeen, Most Sport Manager, fantastic. Uh, FM sixteen, FM sixteen, uh, Most Sport Manager, PC Specialist. Because I did one video. Um, doing a video review on PC specialists, so that's that's cool. That you know, that's obviously ranking high in the in the rankings and stuff like that. Um, Total War Warhammer stuff. Behold the Kickmen again. Interesting. Um, is there anything else we want to sort of look at before? You all like money, don't you? I'll show you the money. Money, money, money. Like I said, I'm earning about five hundred a month, just over five hundred a month. Um, if we look. Um, lifetime. <clears throat> so I've earned six thousand three hundred dollars um, since the start of my channel. So six thousand three hundred dollars. Let's convert it into proper money, shall we? So four thousand six hundred quid, which is amazing, like a brilliant. And I, I like to sort of tell people this just to sort of remember sort of stuff. I've been doing this a year and ten months, so already. Five, four and a half grand in a year and 10 months is not the best, considering I at least spend 60 hours a week doing YouTube. So a job and a half for six grand. Of course, it's an investment because you hope the channel is going to continue to grow. I just don't want people to look at that and go, oh, my God, I'm starting a channel. It's a shit ton of work. If you're getting if you're doing it for the money, don't because you might spend three or four years getting to a place where you're earning minimum wage. You know, and that's an optimistic uh, level, really. Um, and let's have a look at the last night. Are we, what we can do is do have a look at monthly. <clears throat> so as you can see, I was quite lucky in that the ad apocalypse, when all that shit went down and advertisers were pulling out of YouTube, that it didn't affect me massively. Um, this is obviously this is just because of this the drop in views so it's gone with that sort of stuff so my sort of best month there was 736 um and this is just so far this month so we don't count that but yeah so it's it's been pretty level for the last sort of eight months and again some people might get disheartened by that going oh why isn't it surely everything should be going up all the time and, and that is not the case um i can't show you the ad rates page because that's against the terms and conditions that shows you how much you get paid for how much your ads that are shown on your channel but that's individual to you um, I think we'll we'll leave it there. Um, just 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 one thing before I go because I forgot to, I'm just about to <laughs> uh, edit the video and stuff. Is that I just wanted to uh, talk about Patreon because I didn't mention Patreon. So my pa 
my Patreon's fucking amazing. You guys are incredibly generous. Um, this is a website called Graftreon. Just put in Patreon tracker into uh, Google search. And you can look up people and see how they're doing. We are in the top 1,000 Patreons in the world. For my little, 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 little channel, we are just astonishing. So we're sitting at... Um, there's, there's Big Philly DeFranco. Um, so we're sitting at... Um, one thousand two hundred and ten dollars a month and i run out of stuff i run out of ways to say thank you um to patrons for their massive amount i just it just doesn't seem so i'm going to show you a nipple there there you go there's a nipple right uh, <laughs> i don't know why i did that <clears throat> why did i do that no but seriously guys thank you so very very much as you saw the the ad revenue from YouTube is nowhere near enough to make a living. But on top of um, people from Patreon and also uh, donating on Twitch when I stream, it's I'm close to, you know, earning an actual living from this thing. And um, as you, if you've checked out my uh, Twitch stream, you'll know that I recently put up like a donation goal of 200 grand. Just could for shits and giggles more than anything but it actually is 200 i'm actually set with me and uh, curly are saving for a house at the moment so any money that i can possibly save now i'm being sort of um getting the new computer soon hopefully working with a company to get it a bit cheaper um but anything that i can sort of extra that i can squirrel away now is basically going so we can move house because this it's a it's a it's a weird one because my mum is older it's horrible it's horrible saying this but you know what i mean right my mum is um in her late 70s and i just want to be closer to home and spend the last few good years nearer to mum at the moment i'm in northern ireland and it's a pain in the ass not only because <clears throat> we have to fly and it's expensive but also um we've got three dogs here so we have to get a dog sitter in or find somebody to look after the dogs um while we're away so we can only go for like one or two days as opposed to if we were closer i could just drive down i'd get the train and just spend a day with mum and and that so that's kind of important to us so everything just know that everything that you're giving to us that we can possibly save that's what it's going towards that's not like a weird guilt trip into giving you more money by the way i'm just letting i you know i'm open and honest i've always been about that about money and stuff so that just to let you know that's what's going just i'm just gonna show you nipple again there it is look um right oh for fuck's sake i forgot something else i'm editing the next bit and i've just realized <laughs> i didn't say what I, how is this how is this fucking video gonna be like 35 minutes long and i'm still forgetting to talk about stuff just to let you know what's going on in the channel darkest dungeon is continuing uh most sport man everything is continuing as is flipped leagues we've got probably three more seasons to do which i'm gonna sort of spin through and then we're gonna do one more little fun save until the end of the season um but also, uh, just to let you know, the sort of big things on the horizon. In the next few days, I will be recording a bunch of unit guides for Total War Warhammer. Because I enjoy making them and, you know, people are watching them. So it's like, a, you know, it's a win-win. It's a so even if you're not into, a, into Warhammer, um, then don't worry about it. There'll be a bunch of videos. Just ignore them and just watch the content you normally like. I remember last year when I did the unit guides for the first um, Total War Warhammer i got a bunch of people unsubscribed, so I'm expecting that as well, but I like making it, so... And it's not going to take away from any other content. They're all going to exist just as they are now. This is just going to be on top of. Right, I de this time, I anything else to talk about? Get my nip... No. Anything else to talk about? No, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up, because, as you know, it's very important. Leave a comment, ask any questions you have, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.